Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. We've had lots of thunderstorms over the past couple of weeks. Hot temperatures to go with them. Folks, ants aren't dumb. Neither are uncles. <laughs> ants aren't dumb. That's when ants look for shelter in your home. Thunderstorms and hot weather drive ants into your house. If you have ant issues, call Southeast Termite and Pest Control to zap the little suckers. One-time treatments or monthly treatments or quarterly treatments. If you keep seeing these things, if you've always had them in your house, you can, you can eradicate them with Southeast Termite and Pest Control. All right, let's take a look. Here's how CBS ranked all of the, they ranked all of the 65 Power 5 coaches. We talked about that. Here's how they viewed the SEC. You tell me what looks right and wrong. You see that Butch Jones, number 10 in the SEC, the first thing that stands out to me, he's behind Ed Ogeron. Yes. Yep. Are, are you kidding me? Do you not remember Ole Miss? 3-21 and 21 oh, in the yeah. SEC at Ole Miss. For the love of God, and well, he's I ahead mean, of I, Butch Jones? I think it's funny he's behind Hughes Freeze. Oh, well, yeah, considering who Freeze does. <laughs> Look at how Hugh Freeze did the job. So, I mean, you've got to take that as <laughs> Five and seven last and, year. And there's a guy that's doomed. He's, he's, he's in the, the uh, Bruce Pearl zone right now. But you're going to stand by him until the NCAA puts the gun to your head, and then it's nice knowing you, Hugh. Move on. Anybody else stand out? Yeah, but Dan Mullen, I mean, he lost three more games this year. That's, that, according to them, that's, uh, that's, I, well, didn't fall apart. Yeah, I do think, I, do, I will say this, I do think Mullen, considering traditionally people don't realize this, Mississippi State's the worst program in the conference. Worse than Kentucky, worse than Vandy. He's done a good job there. I don't know if he's the third best coach in the conference. Exactly. The, exactly. the other one is Brett Bielema. Uh, I mean, you, I just continue to think that Brett Bielema gets overrated. Now, the Wisconsin did, thing, okay, yeah. that's fine. But what he's done in the SEC, he did beat Butch Jones head-to-head. -head. Okay, I understand that. But I think that, okay, if there is a gap between Bielema, if you're going to rank him ahead, it, it's not 25. Yeah. You know, and, it might two. And I think, you four. know, Mark Stoops, he's done more at Kentucky so far than Kirby Smart has done in one year at Georgia. Mark Stoops, I mean, that, that, it wouldn't surprise me if they're not picked for third in the SEC East when you leave Atlanta this year, when you leave the uh, SEC Media Days this year. They're going to be third or fourth. He's done a pretty good job considering what he inherited at Kentucky. Uh, so I, that list is just kind of random yes. in my maybe, maybe it's yeah. what they expect for this year. Maybe it's like their preseason coach ranking so they can point back and go, oh, look, see here, we um, predicted. That's, how but that's back to their top. That's how they ranked all their 65 coaches. So I, I don't know. That's bizarre. Uh, I found something interesting. Don't put it up yet, Chris. Don't put it up. <laughs> almost. He's watching my my, my cues, I'm afraid I'm getting the wrong cue. Um, I went back, I thought this would be interesting to look at. How many guys have been first time SEC title winners um, that won it outside of their first four years? I didn't know if it would be most, if you had to come in and get your, set your foot down and then build, or if guys just hit, hit it running. Didn't know what it was going to be. Let's put it up here. Over the last 50 seasons, First time SEC championship winning coaches beyond their first four years at the school, only five in the last 50 years. There are about 20 something guys who won it for the first time, but most of them wow. did it in their first four years. Tells me how hard it is to rebuild in the SEC. Well, here's the thing that's interesting. Two of the exceptions of those five happened at Tennessee. Johnny Majors won it in his ninth year. In this day and age, he never would have made it to exactly. the ninth year, never would have rebuilt you. You never would have had Philip Fulmer, Peyton Manning, or on down the line if you'd fired him. Fifth season for Philip Fulmer. People, people forget that. He inherited a fantastic deal, took it to the mountaintop, but it took him a few years to get over where the, the Majors thing had it. Yeah. You know? uh, so only five have come in and won it after, won their first one after their first four seasons. A lot of guys, you know, now that's the thing that's fluky about that is Bear Bryant won one this 24th season. I'm not saying you win it earlier or else, but well, that seems to say you win it earlier yeah, or else. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of spooky, but there you go. <laughs> and that's with somebody <laughs> else's talent. Yeah, so that could be a bad <laughs> omen. Just putting it out there. Well, the SEC the, the, omen's bad. The Tennessee omen, though, can help teeter it back. Yeah, the, it's the reverse the omen. omen. All right. <laughs> Very good. Uh, how do top coaches do against top competition? We'll show you what tennis, what Butch Jones' record is versus top 25 teams. Plus, uh, we'll show you some of the other coaches out there so you can compare. Also, bowl rings, battle at Bristol rings. We'll discuss. Come on back.